Happy Tuesday, y'all. Happy Mars Day. I've been spending a lot of time with my mama, Danto. And the download is humans have gotten way too greedy. And I believe Martian influence has completely taken over, right? We have Mars, the planet of going out there, getting what you want, getting what you desire. The planet of indulging in desires, um, but just that action, right? That action oriented, what gets you from this place to this place, what gets you your gains. Humans have become way too greedy. Who are we comparing ourselves to? I think a lot of humans, especially black people, I'm speaking to my black people, I'm speaking to my brown people, I'm speaking to my Nubian melanated people, the original people of this planet, we have gotten out of our own skin to try to wear the white man's clothing and it's only fucking us up. It is only fucking us up. We look towards the white man's greed as a way to live. We look towards the white man's lifestyle as a, as a, as a lifestyle to aspire to be. I don't aspire to be a thief. I don't aspire to be a thief because I can understand if you if you respected the way the white man built their wealth. Then okay, wow, look at that. Maybe we can learn a few things, but they never built it. They stole it. So I don't aspire to be a thief. And my thing is this. I see a lot of mm, a lot of my Caribbean people, a lot of my African people completely brainwashed to brainwashed to follow a lifestyle that is not ours. There's a greed. There's a greed. I, I know many people who have beautiful homes, have two, three cars to a home, beautiful backyards, an abundance of friends, an abundance of relationships, running water, heat, <laughs> food, not a crib. Many, many people that I know and that you may know and around the country world is living this way, but is still in this need, in this need for more because black and brown people, I don't think a lot of you have realized the need for more is in the spirit. It's not into the physical sense. So when you want to buy the little Gucci and Louis and tat up your spirit, like, so, like, yo, like people wear Gucci and Louis and Balenciaga, like, like, like it's a, it's a, like a spiritual cult. Oh, if I wear this, then I am of this quality. Wait, your oppressor's quality? Like, at the end of the day, I understand a little Louis bag, a little Gucci bag. Sure, why not? But for you to excessively indulge in those types of, those types of garments, like those, that, that type of life. Mm-mm. Because I this is all being downloaded because I'm just like, yo, what's really going on here? Like, I don't think people really understand the true meaning of wealth. And we have Pluto and Capricorn. And Pluto's going to shake up what, what society used to be. What society is, Pluto's bringing a whole new grounding structure. And it's going to be for the people. We're going to get back to, we're going to get back to a type of living that makes sense. There's no reason rent should be this crazy there's no reason why somebody shouldn't be working 20 hours a week and be able to live off of that comfortably there's no reason why everyone needs to be working these 40 hour plus you should be able to work 20 hours a week and be able to live a comfortable life there's no there's no reason for this when i look into the community of the black and browns i see that it's a lot of following of the white man right when i see what when i you know really just integrate learn all that stuff what the white man's been doing it's like damn like he's keeping a lot of us in this perpetual rat race that we will not win because we're running their race so when I see black people just just a sweat, just a <laughs> stress themselves out over what? Over what? Oh, okay. Over the fact that you're trying to play somebody else's game. Black people, brown people, my Caribbean, whoever, melanated people, the richness you're looking for is in your spirit. It's in your spirit. It's not in the clothes. 
Yo, you ever just see some people who's even wearing these expensive luxury items? They don't even look good in it. It don't even make sense for them to wear it. Like, like real quick, real fast, real powerful message on this Mars day. Your richness is in your spirit. It's not in the clothes you wear. It's not in the type of house you have. There's so many different ways to be abundant. And abundance looks different to everyone. You have everybody upon the same type of abundance. What type of robots are you allowing yourself to be to be changed into? You're allowing yourself to evolve in the iRobot way. And it's just dutty. I'm sorry. It's completely dutty. And it's completely... It, it's, 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 it's piss poor. <laughs> it's piss poor. It's piss poor. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. When you, when you, when you get down, I'm not sorry, by the way. I, I, I'm saying I'm sorry, but I'm really not. <laughs> because that's just what it is. When you get down to really understanding who you are spiritually, you see how abundance will transmute through you. Personally, for me, when it comes to like jobs and all that other type of job, I have never gotten a job where I didn't meet a person before. All my jobs have be, have come to me because I've met someone that was able to like hook me up or I met someone who was able to point me in this direction. And that has always humbled me, kept me grounded and showed me that it's more about who you are as a person that will unlock so many doors for you to abundance and will lock so many doors for you, right? About who you are as a person. And like my biggest thing that I really stand on is spiritual wealth, spiritual abundance. Yo, I, it's, it hurts that, you know, us melanated people, we still have spirit richness in us, but we have so much hurt. We have so much hurt and we out here running this rat race that the white man has, has created for us and then want to judge other people. I would have bumble. It's like you're taking the white man's oppression upon you and then judging your fellow melanated person. I would have bumble clot. Is that? I don't make no sense. That don't make no sense. So real quick message message on the get back to your roots. Get back to your spirit. Get back. You will never be fulfilled. You will never be fulfilled. You're always going to want more money and more this and more material things. You're never going to be fulfilled. I see people who have lived in XYZ condition and they've and they've um They've improved and lived in a better condition. They still think they're not doing good. What type of demonic force is over your head top, over your ori, over your crown chakra for you to think that as you improve, you're still not going nowhere? That life sucks. And when I look at that life from the outside, I'm like, damn. Right? So this is a calling for all of us to be more appreciative of where we are and to understand the materialistic lifestyle is only going to kill us faster. It's a trap. Mother Earth has given us everything we need. It's a trap. We out here following the people that spiritless. That's why they need this, 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 then this. Them spiritless. Less. And over here, we over here with so much richness and the potential to have so much more. And we following behind them? God damn. Well, not we. Them. I follow. I just can't. And you know, so I say all this as a message to y'all and even a message to myself to keep myself in check when it comes to being more appreciative, when it comes to breaking out the confines of what the white man society has put on us melanated people, to understand what true wealth means, understand what true health means, what true abundance means. I'm sorry, a place with no nature ain't abundant to me. A place with a whole bunch of buildings ain't abundant to me. That's video game shit. That's robotic shit. We not I'm not doing that. And I hope the same for y'all. When I see when I think of abundance, I think of a little lagoon, a tree minute walk from me. Whole bunch of trees, whole bunch of living off the earth. That's straight. 
that's straight abundance to me <laughs> to me and i hope this video is just a little signal a little ping inside your head open up a new portal inside your mindset to stand for what you know true abundance is to walk away from the from the from the shackles the shackles of the white man's bullshit and to come back home to your spirit too many people are suffering spiritually too many people they trying to find trying to find their spirit in gucci <laughs> they they try to find they they, they try to find their light in louis <laughs> They try to find they light in Louis. Mm -mm. They trying to shine through Balenciaga. No, baby. Because the real niggas could see, could really see through that shit. And isn't it so funny how the white men don't even wear that shit no more? You kind of look, you don't look like you got money if you wearing a designer shit. You look like you're thirsty to look like you have money. Yo, like, I'm sorry. Some people just straight idiot, bro. Straight idiot. It don't make no sense. Happy Mars Day, y'all.